Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host Bastion here in my library instead of coming to you live from the landscape of Hyrule and Breath of the Wild. Um, yeah, anyways, this is Nintendo News. Let's get to that news. First of all, um, we learned some interesting rumors that match a patent that Nintendo had filed that we talked about in one of these videos months ago. And that patent well, let's just talk about the rumor at hand. The rumor at hand is that some developers are receiving dev kits for the Switch that are very different to what we have seen as far as the retail version. Uh, these ones are much more powerful. Um, and that is because supposedly uh, this is going to incorporate a patent that Nintendo had filed where eventually they will be releasing not a sequel to the Switch, but like an upgrade to the Switch. It will be like a new type of dock, apparently, supposedly. This is all just rumor. A new type of dock that will then massively uh, improve the power of the Switch such that it's better than um, whatever those fancy versions of the PlayStation 4 are now. I think it's the PlayStation 4 Pro. I, ha I don't keep up on the Sony or the Microsoft stuff. I'm sorry, I'm a Nintendo fanboy, what can I say? Um, in fact, I only just recently bought a PlayStation 3 from eBay last week, so that's how far I am behind. But I had to for 3D Dog Game Heroes, which... Anyways, I digress. The point is, according to this rumor, Nintendo's making good on that patent. And so this is a patent that we saw them file like a year ago or something like that, where they have these things called supplemental computing devices um, that sort of wirelessly connect to the main console and provide it with more processing power somehow magically. I don't understand any of this stuff, to be perfectly honest with you, it's not my area of expertise. But these developers who are receiving these dev kits are saying, oh, we're going to be able to develop games with so much more power than the regular version of the Switch has. Something must be going on here. Um, so anyways, that's kind of exciting, but again, just a rumor. Until we see one of these dev kits, or, or I don't know how we could get proof of this, but it's just a rumor for now. We learned a little interesting tidbit about the Switch, which is that, you know, in the commercial thing, the promo video that they compiled for it months ago, they show you playing it on the airplane, and a lot of people pointed out, uh, wait a minute, airplanes don't want you playing that kind of stuff on an airplane, and because it uses, like, wireless data and stuff, and so... Um, so there apparently is an airplane mode for the Switch, so all is safe on your flights. We learned an unfortunate thing about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is that we assumed, I assumed, it would have brand new tracks, right? That's only logical, it surely doesn't take much to develop some new tracks, but not so. Apparently it includes the same tracks as the regular game plus its DLC, so the same 48 tracks which is a little disappointing. I mean, it does have new characters and new modes, but the same tracks seems odd. We learned a very unfortunate story from Gearbox, and in case you're not familiar with Gearbox, they are a big third party that doesn't really do much on Nintendo consoles, but they do stuff for Microsoft and Sony, and um, I think they're the ones behind Borderlands, the Borderlands series and stuff like that. Anyways, they apparently were in talks with Nintendo about doing something for the Switch, and then they said, out of nowhere, Nintendo just stopped responding to them. So they aren't going to have anything coming out on the Switch. And I hope that that's a misunderstanding, and then Nintendo catches word of this and reaches out to them and says, oh geez, we don't know what happened, but that was not our intention. Please, please bring your stuff to the Switch, your, especially any new stuff you have in development, because this could set a really terrifying precedent. Um, if third parties are being treated like this by Nintendo, even if accidentally, you know, even if there's just a miscommunication, that's... That's not good, so hopefully Nintendo fixes this. If you want to read more about that, there's a link down there for you. And our final story for the day is kind of the opposite of that, and it's about Phil uh, Spector, the CEO, I think he's the CEO of Microsoft, and um, some other exec at Microsoft who both tweeted 
very nice uh, complimentary things about the Switch, so that's always nice. Um, if you want to read their specific comments, because I don't remember what they are, but they were complimentary, that's all that matters, right? If you want to read those, there's a link down there for you. That is it for this episode of Nintendo News. See you guys in a couple days for more news. Bye, guys.